guys, welcome to Ask a Little Witch. My name's Kerry and today I'm going to be talking to you about Pisces. Pisces is the 12th sign in the zodiac, therefore ruling over the 12th house um, in the birth chart. Pisces' is, um, ruling planet would be Neptune. Neptune is a planet of spirituality, illusion, um, imagination, creativity, the subconscious mind. Um, Pisces also rule over the feet. Now to be a Pisces, you would have to be born on and in between uh, February the 19th through to um, March the 20th. Okay, so how do you know you're dealing with a Pisces? Let's get into it. Okay, so Pisces is actually the per well, it's my sign and I find it really hard to talk about Pisces because usually when people ask me so what's a Pisces like I usually cop out and just say they're just like me and obviously that would not be answering your question as to what a Pisces is um, Pisces and something you'll come to learn about Pisces is the fact that they are great listeners and they'd much rather listen than talk about their own problems um, Pisces are the deepest sign they are a sign that incorporates a little piece of every other zodiac sign therefore making them very chameleon like um, so they've got something familiar about them yet something different about them Pisces are the old souls the wise ones um, they're the last sign and um, yeah, but we'll get into why they're deep in what just makes a minute. A Pisces um, deep. If you think about the ocean, like I think it's two thirds of the ocean's like floors have been undiscovered, like they're not discovered, two thirds of it. And that's much like a Pisces because a Pisces is the deepest sign. It's not like a crab who can interchange coming in and out of the water. It's not like a scorpion who burrows down and then comes out. A Pisces can't survive outside of water. A Pisces needs it, you know, um, or as they die. And you can't be fully submerged into the water long enough to fully discover everything about a Pisces. And I think that's what makes them mysterious and different and kind of intriguing and you don't there's something about them that you just want to know but you can never quite come to like grasp it or just as you do it's like too late and they've switched off and they've gone on to something else and um, that's much like a Pisces Another thing you know about Pisces is the fact that they are masters of deception they will only ever reveal to you what they want you to know and um, they're very good at hiding how they feel these people um, it's not that they're trying to be um, they're not trying to be deceptive their hearts are in the right place I think it's more the case that they don't need to feel sorry for them and um, they still want to remain strong but they really like to be like protected or secure in their environments a Pisces is sensitive you know and they tend to hide their emotions by wearing a big smile and pretending everything's fine um, but again that's just the surface like I just said about the water situation it runs way deep so another thing about Pisces is you won't really catch one like losing control, like full on losing control. It's a rare occasion that you would because if you imagine throwing a pebble um, across the water, um, you get that whole rippling effect, but then very quickly it remains calm again. The water like calms down because we're musical signs. We are very changeable and adaptable. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that Pisces doesn't feel They've acknowledged that and that pebble goes deep down inside of them and it stays there. So they are very sensitive um, and they won't forget it. They won't forget what you've said or what you've done, um, but they quickly move on. They quickly just not, I don't want to say they dismiss it because they don't. They hold on to things a lot, um, but a Pisces won't show you that they're bothered. They won't show you how they feel because that's kind of a weakness for them and they're strong, you know? Even though they're water and they're kind of all over the place, um, yeah, they are strong. There's a strength about a Pisces, but it's a delicate one. It's a soft one. It's, it's not an aggressive um, type one. And to see an aggressive Pisces is a rare thing. And if you do, they will probably drown you. So yeah, so but Pisces anyway. Pisces are um, naturally quite psychic and perceptive about things. So if a Pisces feels something um, and they got a feeling that something's gonna happen, it usually does. Um, especially if you've got a lot of Neptune energy within your birth chart or a lot of water, like me, um, that makes you even more so like 
spiritually inclined, really like psychic and in tune with everything else that's going around. Now, another thing to mention about the whole moods, um, their moods are very up and down, they're water. So it, as quick as it's coming in, it's going straight back out. And they really struggle to try and find the balance. Now, a different thing about a Pisces and a Cancerian is a Cancerian, yes, they hide their emotions, but it's almost like a sternness, a coldness about how they feel, or they blaster you with humor and they make a big joke out of everything. Now, a Pisces feels things intensely, but they'll usually just wear a big smile and it's all good, like, don't worry about me, kind of, kind of a way of dealing with emotion. It doesn't mean that they don't feel, but they do conceal and hide how they feel. They're not ones to be so open and flippant about their emotions, I guess. Pisces is another dual sign. So like the Gemini, the twins. Um, a Pisces is similar in ways, but whereas a Gemini is torn between two desires, like they literally, they want both things, they want everything, they want this and they want that. Um, a Pisces is not the same sort of duality. Yes, they can be very quick-witted like a Gemini, they can be very all over the place like a Gemini, um, but a Pisces is more about the duality of going up and going down, and that's how they're like interchangeable. Now, a Pisces can either swim down, and just go with the flow, run with the currents, or a Pisces can really go after the things that they want and swim against the current, and that's when you get a really successful Pisces. Um, Pisces can be a little bit lazy, um, and they can tend to just wanna go with the flow, and it's the same with their moods and their emotions. They can get dragged down by a lot, and it takes them a lot to kind of swim back up again, but they're very much in and out, the way like a Gemini is very like all over the place. So similar traits between a Gemini and a Pisces in ways, but it's a little bit different. A Pisces knows what they want in their heart. It's just a will of whether they um, have the energy to fight for it or they just want to take the easy route. Um, and you'll see a lot of that in so Pisces. like I said about the Pisces um, kind of having to go with the flow of things or to um, fight for the things that they want, that's the duality between a Pisces. Um, Pisces in themselves are very, they're here to serve. We're here to serve people in some way. So Pisces tend to be what other people want them to be. That's just who they are. They can't help it, that's, that's just it. Um, now that's when they come into trouble because a Pisces are big escapists and yes they get a bad rep for being and you'll see this everywhere that apparently all Pisces are druggies or alcoholics or like smoking weed all the time and stuff like that. That's not necessarily true. Yes, all Pisces are escapists. 100% I am myself an escapist but it's different and it's different for every person and um, to escape is different for everybody and it depends on what that means to a person so a typical escapism for a Pisces would be excessive daydreaming I do it all the time I'm always in my own little world um, movies lover of movies they want to escape they want to fall in love with the story and kind of get lost in something um, that's a Pisces they want to go and explore and travel and just change something they just want to be something else or be somewhere else when like they're feeling troubled um, you do get Pisces that love to drink um, excessively at times, you know, they never do anything in moderation. It's either all in or all not, like it's never in a happy medium. They struggle with the balance. And again, that's the whole duality of a Pisces. Um, you do get Pisces that escape through drugs. Um, that's a big thing. And that's why you would advise a Pisces that if they are down, Find a creative outlet to express your downness or your depression state because if you go down that route, it's harder for you to swim back up. And um, yeah, so no, not all Pisces are druggies and alcoholics as every other sign seems to, like, everyone seems to think that, I don't know why. Um, I can kind of guess why, but no, like not all Pisces are like that. We're just escapists and escapism is, different and it has different forms and different intensities um, but we are kind of extreme and um, we never do anything by half. Another I thing guess. about Pisces as, is that we are very empathetic to other people. We have a habit and 
If you're yet to discover this or know this, I hope it will help you or make some sense to you. Um, we take on other people's emotions. Um, we're like a sponge. We literally suck out other people's emotions. Hence why people feel so good around us because we're literally taking away all their bullshit and all their like negativity and it's residing within us. Now, not all Pisces know that they are able to do that. Not all Pisces are aware of it. And sometimes you can become very down and you don't even have a clue why. Like why all of a sudden are you now down or depressed about something that doesn't even matter to you? Because we take on other people's emotions. Um, Pisces are very caring people. They're compassionate and they are passionate people. And um, they care a lot about animals and plants, um, the environment usually. They just have a big heart and they kind of take on more than they should. And that's the whole swimming up or swimming down. You know, a Pisces need to find some sort of barrier or some sort of boundary. And that's why Pisces often wants to retreat and spend time on their own. They need their own space um, because too much energy, too much people's emotions, it just makes us down and us emotional and it's not healthy for us. Okay, so I'm not gonna say that all Pisces are damsels in distress. We're not all weak women or weak men. Um, Pisces are very good at creating the illusion of what other people want us to be. Um, so we're very good partners because we can make our men feel really manly. Um, we can, um, we're just very good at accommodating and serving other people and we do use that to our advantage. And it's the same for men as well, men do it too, the male Pisces. Um, we're just very good at being what people want us to be without even trying and without you even realizing and that's why we are so like chameleon like because we're different around different people now, and a male yeah. Pisces um, would be a little more um, I mean, there's something gentle about all Pisces whether you're male or whether you're female um, but the men um, tend to be a little bit more reserved in their emotions and yes they can layer and like lavish you with like romantic gestures and things like that but they tend to mask their emotions through humour they are much rather crack a joke or be really sarcastic about something as opposed to really opening up and I think that takes time for a male Pisces um, as well as that, a male Pisces tends to be really forgetful about important dates. Um, nevertheless, you will feel very loved by a Pisces man, um, but they are very forgetful. And that's something to bear in mind about Pisces. Okay, men. so Pisces people, men and women, um, we seem to have this magnetic kind of energy about us. Um, people tend to be drawn to us. Now, I don't think people are fully aware of why they notice a Pisces, um, but I believe it to be is because Pisces are very good healers. They feel good to be around and um, Pisces are very intuitive, very psychically gifted. Um, sometimes you don't even have to say what's on your mind or what's going on with you. A Pisces just knows and they know how to cheer you up or get you out of that. Um, Pisces as well as that Pisces can are good be listeners. very, they give great advice and they're always on hand to help someone. Um, all you have to do is ask because a Pisces finds it incredibly hard to say no to anyone and don't take advantage of that because so many people do that to me. A Pisces can't say no, okay? They want to help everyone and sometimes they spread themselves a little thinly because they can't help everyone, obviously, that's common sense, but they want to and they have that want and that desire to be of need and to be of service to other Another people. Another thing about Pisces is that we are the least judgmental sign in the zodiac. We're the ones that will not be phased by anything that comes out of your mouth. We'll be so like, oh, okay, like you can be the weirdest, quirkiest, quirkiest, strangest individual on the planet. And we would just be like, oh yeah, I totally understand you. Because we do, like we genuinely are able to understand and accommodate to everybody. And we like that. And the thing that Pisces loves above all else things is your perfect imperfections. Pisces loves mess. Pisces loves someone's natural rawness. Pisces loves that that side of people that people want to hide or people don't like about themselves. Pisces loves that. Um, whereas a Virgo is very much a perfectionist. They like things to be a certain way. Um, a Pisces likes your imperfections. A Pisces finds that endearing and they want to nurture that and help you with that. And they want you to see how beautiful you are with that 
imperfection because to them it's perfect. With the Pisces, it's not physical. Like it's not usually always physical. It's emotional, it's spiritual, it's intellectual, it's everything. A Pisces needs connection when it comes to another person. They can't stand superficial or anything very shallow. They don't like that. They like depth. They're a deep water sign. Um, Pisces tend to be quite small in stature, um, quite petite, small hands, um, small feet. Um, now, even like the tall ladies um, will appear very dainty in some way or very feminine in some way. Usually a Pisces eyes are very like liquid-like. Um, they usually have a lot of Clear, like a very clear complexion. Now that does depend on how much water's in your sign, um, in your sign, in your birth chart, and how much water or Neptune energy you have going on in your birth chart. Um, I myself do, and you'll very rarely see me break out in a spot. Um, I have a lot of water. My skin is usually very clear, and um, that's a telltale sign between a Pisces. Like they tend to have very clear complexions, um, liquid eyes, small and dainty in some way, and very feminine. Now the men can be somewhat of the opposite side. Um, they might be a little bit small, but their proportion size will be a bit odd and they'll have like really big feet or really big hands and like small in other areas it's really weird um but Pisces are yeah. unique they're quirky they have an element about them that's very unusual or unique um at the same time though at the very same time they are familiar to you there's something about them that you recognize or you know them from somewhere or they have a familiar face or a familiar energy they automatically like relax you um, now a Pisces is completely oblivious to this they're oblivious to the attention they get even though they have this mystic kind of energy this mysticism this illusionary like this strange sort of thing about them um, a Pisces is oblivious to it I've dated guys that have been very like you get so much attention like seriously and you're so like oblivious to it like why and I'm like I don't notice it I don't see it because I don't care and I'm in my own little bubble most of the time like when I'm with someone um, like a Pisces in general and if you have a lot of Neptune energy you're tuned into that person you don't see anything else outside of yourself you don't notice anything else going on in the world you're focused on what you're talking about or yeah so they're very like connected. so I've already said that uh, Pisces are very chameleon like um, they adapt and they change to their surroundings very well. They're different around different groups of people. They're psychic, they're intuitive, they're mysterious, they're magnetic. Um, now, to say something else about a Pisces that you might not know is a Pisces needs space. A Pisces hates clingy people. A Pisces will kind of drift and go with the flow usually but they need space. They don't like to be demanded upon um, because then they become drained and sometimes they could be constantly socializing for like a few weeks and then you won't hear from them for like another two weeks. Um, that's just a Pisces, they need space. They hate clinginess and that makes it quite difficult um, for relationships to kind of really blossom because they do need their okay, alone time. So a Pisces isn't superficial, they're deep. They need deep stimulation, they need a connection on all levels they don't just want to talk about shallow meaningless stuff that doesn't interest them a Pisces um, as well as that prefers someone's inner beauty as opposed to physical beauty a Pisces can be very a Pisces sees um, through people they're a great judge of character they pick up on vibes so you might have um, a stereotypical impression of a Pisces being very artistic and creative and hippified or whatever now to a degree, a Pisces prefers to do something that they love, that they're passionate about, as opposed to something that's gonna pay them a lot of money. Pisces have no clue about money. They have no interest in money. However, they do wanna live like a millionaire. They just don't want the money of one. A Pisces, if they do pursue their, their interests, their loves and their passions, it will give them the money. Um, as if by magic, um, but they have to really pursue it and work hard at it. Now, Pisces are really not ones to go for jobs that pay really well because of the money. They're not about the money, they're about the love and the joy and the passion and the enjoyment they get from doing something okay, they so love. So, on the negative side, because every sign has a little something that um, can be seen as quite negative, a Pisces cares too much. They take on too much. They always want to please people and help people that they forget to help themselves usually and it causes them to get burnt out, stressed out and sometimes 
I think people put too much expectation upon them like you need to do this for me because they always have done it but why do they have to feel the need that they have to do something that they don't um, Pisces they need to learn to say no Pisces have a habit of not being able to say no and sometimes if you're constantly 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 prying on a Pisces they can snap and take it out on you and it might not even be directly about you or your situation it could just be the build up of things so again a Pisces kind of suppresses everything down because they don't want anyone to feel sorry for them and they want to be able to deal with things on their own yeah Pisces need to learn to take help from other people because they don't know how to take help. They want to do everything themselves and um, they don't want to have to rely on anyone or burden anyone. Um, but usually, you know, a lot of people want to help a Pisces because they are nice. Like, I, well, without sounding egotistical or anything like that, I think that like I'm a pretty nice person and I'll always help or I overextend myself to help someone else out. And um, I think that Pisces should learn to accept help from other people. Another thing that can really annoy a lot of people about Pisces is the fact that we don't express our emotions. At least we don't express our emotions in the moment. A Pisces has a habit to need to, I mean, they're not ones to just quickly act. Um, they're not impulsive unless your Mars is doing something in your chart. Um, a Pisces needs time to think, to process, and then they'll bring it up probably a day or two later when everything's calm again, um, because they don't like confrontation. They don't like arguments. They want peace and they want love, a little bit like a Libra does. Um, so yeah, but this can really annoy people because they never know how a Pisces is feeling because they're never open about how they feel. They just want to enjoy the moment and it doesn't matter about that, you know. And that's a really annoying trait of a Pisces. Another thing that would really like, and it has annoyed a lot of my friends and previous boyfriends and stuff like that, is the fact that Pisces are really indecisive. I know, like we are, um, and it's because we genuinely see the best out of all options and there's too many choices. Like, if there's too many choices, how can we possibly pick? We want them all. Like, yeah, let's experience them all. Um, a Pisces as well is that, like, we are indecisive. We just want to do what you want to do. Um, as simple as that. Like, I don't see why that's a big deal. Like, we're very giving, caring people and we don't care about where we eat. Um, we don't care about which place we want to go visit next. But as long as we're going to do something, um, Pisces is not one to make decisions. They don't act quickly. Um, they need time to think and process things and that annoys the fudging out of a lot of people. Um, but, you know, you should just accept it, take charge and um, decide. You know, Pisces might surprise you every once in a while, make a decision, you never know, if you're lucky. Um, no, Pisces are just really indecisive. We don't mean to be, we just are. We want to do what you want to do and that's it. That's what we're about. We're about connecting with you and we don't care about everything else around that whole situation. Um, if you're happy, we're happy and that's a typical Another Pisces really trait. trait and something that Pisces really can't help is that we suffer hugely um, with melancholy. Um, we can't help it. Uh, throughout our lives, it's always up and down. We just are emotionally sensitive to the world that things get to us and we worry excessively about things that we probably don't even need to worry about. Um, it's just something that comes over us every now and again. You know, we suffer from, especially like when things get really bad, it gets really bad and people don't realize that. We feel things so much more than other people feel things and people can't understand that because, well, you can't understand that because you're not a water sign or you don't go as deep as a Pisces goes deep. Um, and that's something that can frustrate a lot of people because they don't understand like, one minute she's fine, the next minute she's like something else. Like they, they can't quite understand and they never understand the full reason behind it because a Pisces doesn't want to burden anyone but it's something that weighs heavy on their hearts and it's something that lasts like throughout the whole of a Pisces life. So Pisces have unrealistic expectations in relationships. Um, Pisces are romantic at times but they don't like romance all the time. Um, they like things to be in balance and things to be a little bit of everything, but they do want that fairy tale partner. They do want that perfect partner. And when they feel that they give a lot and when they feel that they don't receive it in the way that they should, they can kind of become very down and depressed. And again, that's not the other person's fault. 
a Pisces just has high expectations. They want to feel safe, they want to feel secure, they want to feel important in a relationship, as I'm sure every other sign does, usually, but Pisces takes relationships deeply. It's a really deep spiritual connection. It's not something light. It's not something um, that's very flighty or fling-like. They really want to connect and understand someone and be like a part of that person. And sometimes that can be too intense, too intense for a lot of other signs to kind of deal with. However, we are people pleasers. We are pleasing in relationships. So we do make good partners. Um, I just feel like we're so neurotic, like, without worrying, like, we worry about every little detail, we want everything to be perfect, we want to completely fulfil and satisfy someone, and sometimes, you know, that can be unrealistic, you know, life isn't a fairy tale, um, although I still believe in fairy tales, I am a Pisces, um, yeah, I think we're all looking for a little something, and we're looking for more, and when we don't get that more, or when we feel like we're pushed or pushed to one side, Pisces isn't like that, and, um, yeah, we're sensitive. We kind of retreat and go back into the water and you probably won't hear from us. The last time. thing I'm going to mention about Pisces is the fact that we can be lazy. Um, sometimes we lack motivation. Sometimes we worry so much that we make ourselves anxious and we worry and we panic and yeah. So we can be a little bit like too much in that sense. Um, and those are the negative traits of a Pisces. So now we're going to move on to the famous Pisces. Um, These famous are the people that kind of Pisces. sprung to mind. We have Tony Robbins. Amazing. If you haven't heard of him, you should check him out. Um, we have Dr. Seuss, Albert Einstein. We have Peaches Geldof, which is my birthday. Um, we have Drew Barrymore, Brittany Snow, we have Rihanna, <coughs> we have Will I Am, we have Kurt Cobain, we have Kesha, total Pisces on a really down spiral, we have John Bon Jovi, Jennifer Love Hewitt, um, there's so many, honestly, there's so many. Um, okay, yeah. so some really good job roles that would really suit a Pisces would be a whole range of things really um, to start with. An addict, addicts um, counsellor. Um, they'd be really good at that because they can kind of really relate to it. Um, good counsellors in general if they're able to detach. They'd make really good spiritual teachers, um, gurus, psychics, astrologers. Um, I'm not just saying that because that's who I am, but genuinely, like, Pisces are very like that. Um, anything to do with the water, travelling, the sea, um, anything to do with, like, aquamarine, sort of stuff, you know. Um, they make good nurses, good carers, um, good teachers, um, count I already said counsellors. Anything that they want to do, but they have to really feel like um, creative in their field. They make really good writers, they have a good imagination. They make good filmmakers as well. Um, activists um, to a degree, but they don't have that same fight that like an Aquarius does. Um, so, so yeah, if you are a Pisces or you know a Pisces or you're dating a Pisces, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know how well I did in the comments below. Um, the next series of videos to do with love, compatibility, sex and all that stuff um, through the Zodiac will be going live next week now. Um, so yeah, until then, I'll speak to you soon. Bye!